Hi guys, Aka here. Wow, so many events going on during this period of Ebony. And with all the sorcery and witchery that we are seeing going on around here, you'd be forgiven if you thought you, when you logged into the app, you got transported to Hogwarts or some random anime world. But it's okay, we're gonna break everything down here. I would have gotten this breakdown done earlier but I had real life stuff going on and I had to make time for SVS. Shout outs to the good folks of Server 915. With the new flexible specialties that Ebony released in the SVS boxes, I needed to get me some of that. And now I am battle tested. <laughs> yes folks, no one can touch me now. Unless you have T15s. In which case, please don't touch me. Okay. Let's move on to start looking at the new events that we have here. The first one we have is this divination event. And this is pretty much like a lot of other events that we've seen so far. You get these fate cards, which you can get from monsters, from gathering, and there's a pack for it. You get one free spin every day. I'll just do that now. And you get some rewards you can also unlock additional rewards as well. So this one, though it's a different look, it's pretty much a standard event that we've seen already. The next one is this Sulis Wishing Pool. And this one is a purely coining event. You get coins from the Wishing Pool by making purchases. And as you can see here, I have two coins already. There's an experiment that I'm working on and I desperately needed gems, so I got some. With Aptoid, of course. The video for that experiment will be coming out once it's completed, so stay tuned for that. As for the Wishing Pool, you get the option of different rewards that you can get, and you use your coins to make wishes and have a chance of winning those rewards. If you do manage to win all the rewards, then you get these additional rewards over here, which are actually pretty nice, but considering the amount of coining you would need to do for that, it might not be for everyone. But if it's for you, again, remember, do it with Aptoid. Now, we're gonna go to the event that has caused quite a bit of confusion for a lot of players, and that is the Alchemy Shop. And basically, what's going on here is you get these items, molten ore, and you sell them to get the alchemical coins, okay? So you get the ore and you sell the ore to get the coins. That's basically what it is. Now, how do you get the molten ore? You get it by completing your daily quests. And as you can see here, you have 50, 100, 150. So basically what this is, is that in your daily activity, you need to get the amount of scores needed to unlock the Molten Ore. If you get up to 150 points in your daily activity, then you can claim the maximum daily amount for the Molten Ore. From what we've seen so far, for free to play, you get a maximum of 13 Molten Ore every day. But if you buy the Privilege Rewards over here, then you can get some extra molten ore. So how do you go about selling the molten ore for the coins? There are basically two ways that you can do this. The first one is to do it in your shop. And that's the simplest option. So you can see right here at the bottom, we have the option to sell. If I tap on that, it gives you the option to select how much molten ore you want to sell. Once you press sell, then you get your coins. That's it. Pretty simple and straightforward. And if you're not bothered about the event, this is the simplest way that you can go and you get your coins. The second way that you can sell your molten ore is by selling it in other players' shops. Now, the question is, why would you want to sell your molten ore in another player's shop? And the reason for that is actually quite interesting. If you see here, it says today's purchase price, 24 coins per molten ore. 
So what this means is that for every molten ore I sell in my shop, I will get 24 coins. However, this purchase price changes on a daily basis and the purchase price is not the same for everyone. Everyone has a different purchase price. So the reason you would want to sell your molten ore in another player's shop is if that player's shop has a higher daily price than your shop presently has. That way, you'd be able to get more coins for your molten ore. Now, if we tap right here and we come to friends, it shows you your friends list and it also has details on their shop. As you can see here, my friend's shop, the price is 59 coins per molten ore. Mine is 24. His is 59. So it would be better for me to sell my molten ore in his shop, get a higher price for it and get more coins. But before you go ahead to try and sell your ore in another player's shop, there are two things that you need to pay attention to. The first one, obviously, as we said, is the price. The price of the other player's shop has to be higher than the price in your shop. And then the second thing is the saleable quantity. Each shop has a limit of molten ore that can be sold in it. Naturally, as we've said, players will be trying to sell their ore in the shop that has the highest price. But because of this limit, you need to make sure that whatever shop you are applying to has enough limit for you to sell the amount of ore that you want. So before you try to sell in another player's shop, check the price, check the saleable quantity. Once everything is okay on both of those fronts, then you need to apply to be able to sell in the player's shop. And the player will have to accept your application. When someone applies to your shop, you'll get a notification here. If you tap on it, it will show you the details of the person that is applying to visit your shop. If we click go, then it brings you back into your alchemy shop. If you want to see it, it's right here, tap here, and then applications, you see it, and then you can approve. Once you approve, then that player is able to sell their ore in your shop. And if we scroll down a bit, right here, you can see one of my friends accepted my application and you now get the option to visit that player's shop. As you can see, his coin price is 36, mine is 24, so his shop has a higher price than mine. If I sell in his shop, it's better for me. Aside from the benefits that you get though, the player whose shop you are selling in also benefits when you sell your items in his shop. Every time another player sells their ore in your shop, you get 6% of the amount of ore that they have sold. So right here, you can see where it says, I sold one molten ore and earned 24 coins. Now I got my friend to make a purchase in my shop. And as you can see, it says he sold two molten ore in my shop, earned 48 coins, and I got three coins for the sale that he did in my shop. And of course, as you can see, my molten ore is still there for me to sell. So that's the benefit of you accepting other people selling in your shop. And of course, you would want to sell in the shop that gives you the highest price. And you can see all of those listed here on your friends list. So be sure to pick one that will give you a good price. And once your friend accepts it, then you're good to go. It's helping you out. It's helping them out as well. Now, if you have a high price in your shop, but you don't have anyone applying to make purchases in your shop, what you can do is you can share your shop details. You can share it on wall chat. You can share it in your alliance and basically let people know that, look, I've got a high price. I've still got quantity, come and sell and 
anybody that still has ore can come and do that and you guys help yourselves out. But if you don't use anyone else's shop to sell your ore, at the end of the day, all the ore that you have will be sold in your shop at the price that you have. And like I said, this is done daily. So ideally, you would want to sell your ore before the day runs out at the highest price that you can get. And of course, as you can expect for any Ebony event, if you don't want to go through all of that hassle, you can just downright coin. If we come over here, there is the Alchemy package. It's a $100 package and inside you get 12,000 coins. And if you hit that with triple downs, that's 36,000 coins, which is quite a lot. And you probably already know what I'm going to say right now. If you're going to coin, got to do it with Aptoid. Okay, so that's the main run through of how the event works and how you get the ore and how you get the coins. Now, let's look at what you can redeem with those coins. There are quite a few items here that we can redeem as you would expect for this kind of event. So you can scroll through and look at anything that tickles your fancy. There's a castle available, Castle Dracula, which has buffs. So if you wanted to go for that, that's cool. The amount of coins that you would need is pretty steep. So keep that in mind. You also get some generals, you get the new avatar and things like that. But in my opinion, for a lot of players, probably the hottest item that people will be trying to get here is this blazing chest. And what it appears to be is that with this chest, you can select the specific blazing that you want to get. I know this might not interest some people, but for some people that have been struggling to get a particular blazing with a particular set attribute, this is big. So, if you're able to claim one of these, from the looks of it, you'll be able to select the blazing that you want. And I think quite a few people will be interested in this. So, that's the quick run through of the rewards. Now, my opinion of this event is that I actually think that this is a good event. Not because of the rewards that you can get from it or how friendly it is for free to play people. No, not because of that. It's because of the interaction that it sets up between players. And in my opinion, this event lays the groundwork for a feature in Ebony that a lot of players have been asking for for a long time. In my opinion, this event lays the groundwork for players to be able to trade items between themselves, which if Ebony actually brought it out would be great. I'll give you an example. You have the standard events that are here that you can redeem with coins. However, if there was an additional section where players can put up various items that they have in their inventory and set a coin price, then players can come in with their coins and actually purchase those items from them with the coins. And then of course you, can use those coins that you get to get anything else that you want, which would be very cool. I mean, we already have the interaction where you can sell in other players' shops, so I don't think it will be too much of a stretch to go the extra mile for allowing players to trade items. That's just my thought on it. So, Ebony, if you're listening, that's a great idea that you have going on there. Make it work. So, that's the run through on the events that we have here. If I missed out any important detail on the events that I covered so far, please feel free to drop a comment down below. Thank you very much, guys. Aka signing out.